Hey, what's up guys? It's Brayden TCT and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about me switching my kingdom. So I already switched my main account last night because I thought that there was going to be a limit of how many people. But I didn't really need to, but I did it because I have my farm account that I can move. And that's why I'm on my farm account this time instead of my main account. And, um... I, and the reason why I have no resources on my farm account is because I already switched them over to my main and then ported. I mean, uh, yeah, I switched them over to my main and then my main used them and then so you could port. So, I, I first of all, to, in order to port, I need to quit this alliance. I need to quit the alliance. And uh, so how you port to another alliance is first you need to have um, a teleport. So we're going to K um 1090. So uh, I'm gonna I may be talking about why I'm leaving this kingdom in another video, but pretty much we had a bad kingdom, so then I left. But now we're going to be um porting away. So I think I want to do. It's not gonna matter because I'm just going to port uh, into the territory when I get there. So first of all, I actually don't know what alliance I'm joining. Uh. Um, I think I need to go to my main and get a mail and see my mail what the what my farm account is gonna be when I'm pouring. Yeah. Actually, no. I don't. I don't need to do that right now. I'm. I'm going to port first. So, yeah. So you go to the world at the bottom and then you go to where you want to go. I think I'm going to go to three. Uh, no, I'm good for it. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to immigrate, and then it says you need to have a city hall that's higher than 16, which I have sufficient passports. So I didn't talk about this, but uh, passports you can either buy them through the shop um, over here in the new world, so you can get this passport. I already bought it on my farm account, so I can move, or you can get it super pricey through the alliance shop, which I can't show right now. Not all alliances are re are stocking them with the passports because they don't want people to move kingdoms. But I mean, uh, I just didn't have enough alliance credits because it costs eight hundred thousand alliance credits. So um, also, you also need to have all army calls empty, which I have. Neither city, none battle. Um, I don't belong to an alliance, and I have enough resources that are protected by my storehouse. So once I have all this, I am going to be ready, and also um, because I'm going to be rank 2,300, which is not in the top 100, I'm going to only have to pay 100 one passport. So if I was in the top 100, it would be whatever rank I am. Um, like if I'm rank 80th in that kingdom, then I probably have to pay like 20 passports in order to go over there, so um, so that they don't have too big of players joining the kingdom. So. Or just, yeah, because I'm, I'm not even close to being a rank, so I only have to pay one. But if you're if you're below one top 100, then you only have to pay one passport. So I'm immigrate. I can't immigrate for another 30 days, which is yes, I don't want to. Um, let me make sure one more time that I'm going to King 1090. Because I, I don't want to have to wait another 30 days in order to port back. Is, that would suck. Um, so yes, I want to move my farm accounts. And then the game's gonna reset, and then we're gonna see what happens once it finishes loading. Now that we have our rights of kingdom loading screen, it's almost done, and it looks like we are here in Kingdom 1090. So, uh, the reason why one of the reasons why we joined Kingdom 1090 is because, from what I've heard, they are just one huge alliance. So, um, uh, yeah, so they're, uh, they're pretty much one huge alliance. They're a bunch of alliances, but they're one huge alliance so that they can't really go to war with each other. They do a uh, lot of temple rotations. So it's pretty much all the entire kingdom in one huge alliance, which I like a lot because that means that there's no conflict because everything is run by one king and then the leaders are more like the R4s, like the leaders of the kingdom of the each alliance are like the r force which is pretty nice so i don't know which uh which alliance i'm going to be porting to and 
Um, I'll be seeing what's really interesting is because the alliance that we lost to in the war to try to take them over, not like we were trying to take them over, but because they were trying to um, take us out in the first place. I don't want to get too political about this, but um, pretty much we're going to be seeing them in zone two of uh, kingdom versus kingdom because they're going to be... Um, is this the Lost Kingdom? Pretty sure. Yeah, so this is the Lost Kingdom. I. Uh, um, where is Kingdom 1089? Uh, yeah, so Kingdom 1089 is Kingdom of Delphic. This is 1092. This is 1090. Yeah, so then they should be right here. Yeah, so this is Kingdom of Delphic. So they'll be getting right here. They'll be porting in right here. We'll be porting in on, I think it's this right here, in here. And then when we take this pass, I'm pretty sure, we'll be seeing them there. Or we'll be seeing them in there. And yeah, definitely in this zone. So, um, no, I don't want to join the Um, Yes, yeah, so this will be interesting to see. Uh, so if you guys like this video, then make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed. I'm so glad to leave my original kingdom because it was a pretty trash kingdom. I might go and talk about what happened in the last kingdom. I probably will, but not today, maybe in future videos. But um, I really like the new kingdom that I'm in because all the people here are really nice and um, really welcoming. So thank you for the kingdom that led us in here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.